folks this is Sijish here so this video I will explain so how to do yarn tuning in a Hortonworks cluster so there are uh, various approaches to do so only thing you need to do is uh, so have to find out the property name and uh, use the proper values based on your operating system configuration and uh, uh, the other application you are running on the cluster and uh, for Cloudera, so there is a separate uh, spreadsheet available from the Cloudera and uh, for Hortonworks, uh, so they are providing a separate uh, Python script by using that. So we can find out the values for uh, the parameters and then uh, tune the YARN. So we will see how it we can uh, do that with that Python script. So this is my cluster and I have uh, two master and three worker machines and this is the configuration and around 3.5 gig RAM per each node and these are the worker machine and one uh, CPU and uh, these are the master machine so okay uh, so if I look uh, my current yarn configuration so you can go to the yarn then quick link go to the resource manager UI and see how much uh, resources available for jobs okay so you can see the total memory is 6 gig and the total V core is 6, 3. So that means at a time only if you consider the memory and uh, CPU together and uh, 3 containers or 3 uh, application uh, containers can run at a time. So we can fine tune so maybe V core we can increase a little bit more and uh, then uh, we can increase uh, this configuration so I, I will show you how to do that so this is the default configuration so when we do the installation and uh, we will try to submit a couple of application now and see how much resources are available so let me uh, submit a job from this user okay so I have created the developer one user and uh, but before that I need to create its home directory so hdfs hdfs dfs iphone mkdir slash user developer one and uh, if its home directory does not exist in hdfs so the his job will fail so here i used hdfs user to uh, do this thing because hdfs is a super user in uh, hdfs file system then use uh, this uh, developer one colon developer one then uh, use this one and uh, sorry I miss HDFS DFS iPhone CHO so I am changing the ownership because I uh, did create this directory with HDFS user so I need to change the ownership and uh, make it to developer one so similarly uh, for other directory developer2 which is the directory2 which I created for developer2 user and I am switching to uh, this uh, developer1 and uh, trying to submit uh, one job so but before that let me find out uh, that executable so I am using the find command to find out that then under uh, star Hadoop star example I don't remember the exact path where these jar files are located so this is the uh, jar file that Hadoop will provide this distribution will provide as part of this HTTP package so let me log into this or switch to developer one user and uh, submit the job so Hadoop jar this jar file then pi so how many mappers and how many reducers i need so let me write the uh, uh, just a job like a 20 mapper and the samples per map is like again 20. so this is just a simple uh, example job and which will use to find out uh, the value of pi and again i can go back to this resource manager u and see how much resource it's trying to use Okay, whether it's started or not yes it's accepted right so 
so job is not yet started so if if i see the accepted and uh, see the status okay and uh, so application so but it's it's not it's not getting the resource i think uh, so we will uh, view this again so running yes uh, now it's uh, started running okay and uh, if you look here so this much memory is used and this much core is used uh, but it if, if if i check this uh, job in details so how many uh, application containers are running i can see from here right sorry this url i need to change Okay, so if I uh, look uh, like uh, see here, uh, so the total, then this is a completed, and uh, this is the progress. So we can again uh, see in detail how this application is running. Okay, at a time it's able to run uh, six uh, jobs or six uh, containers, right? Uh, but if I uh, if I do a fine tuning, so I'm able to do uh, more or less. But not only the more or less. So we can uh, we have will have a control. Okay, so how much memory it has to use and all. So the default may not be in uh, matching with our configuration. But um, however, Ambari will uh, try to do um, a decent uh, default. But still, we can uh, change or override that by changing the parameters. So we will uh, do that in a moment and uh, first we will just check okay yarn tuning HTTP search with this and you will get the first link itself and uh, here you have that option and uh, here it's saying about a python script yarn util dot py and we can execute and find out the parameter value and make sure we are using the correct values right. So we'll uh, download that. So copy link address and uh, let me download it from here. Okay. So this is completed. Then w get. Sorry, I think. Okay. Sorry. This is the file. I need to use this option to download, not this one. So you can see the wget is a command used for downloading something from internet and uh, the star file I just downloaded and uh, unzip it in the same location and uh, so we will go inside that directory and uh, like scripts go to the scripts yarn utils dot py so go back and uh, here it's saying about yarn util dot py and what are the options you need to use iphone c the course on each host then iphone m memory then disk number of disk and whether hbase is there or not so let me uh, execute that then python then yarn utils dot py then iphone c how many number of cores okay first i'm using with how many number of memory then iphone m then uh, using three right so uh, this is the uh, value it's populating but if i just override this and change it to three or something then again the number of containers i can use is uh, three again it's a kind of uh, virtualizing or uh, a weak core concept so i'm just mapping my number of cores with a three and uh, three uh, ram but instead of that three ram i think uh, yeah 
3 gig is the memory and the cores also I am just changing as 3 right but you can use the real uh, configuration values so when you use uh, because you need to get the maximum number of containers to run and uh, with uh, this configuration right and uh, in my case this sorry yeah this is the value 6 gig and uh, 3 cores or uh, this 3 this this i can uh, override also i can customize from here but i'm using that uh, the the default value which is provided here and uh, this one yarn dot uh, scheduler minimum allocation maximum allocation these values i need to change so i'm changing uh, these values in the yarn configuration go to the yarn config then advance search this value if it's already exist and uh, this value just edit and use 341 right save it right and uh, what are the other values i need to change the maximum allocation So the maximum container size is 2046 so that is correct almost same and uh, save that value also okay. and then uh, map memory MB okay I think uh, and this map reduce thing I need to use uh, the other part then uh, first we will finish all the yarn uh, configuration properties okay then we will check this map reduce yeah 341 change it edit 341 and save and uh, this value also we need to change so I'm changing all these values uh, over here whatever the values uh, it's written here and everything has to change one by one so once you made uh, these changes so you you can see uh, one orange circle here so that means the services require a restart and from here uh, from the service section or we can do from here restart all affected and uh, do the other service also and uh, restart all affected so this will uh, restart the services and it takes some time so now all the services are started and uh, if I uh, refresh this and uh, I can get uh, the latest values again uh, since it's a capacity scheduler so uh, Henry here in uh, scheduling it's mainly considering memory only so we can run uh, uh, nine containers including application masters and all so this is how we can uh, fine-tune again uh, so if you have uh, the cloudera's uh, x spreadsheet so that will have a cpus option v core and uh, memory option but here we are mainly considering memory only so that's it about the tuning so you can uh, download uh, download this and try so i will be adding this link in the description so if you have any questions so please use the comment box i will try to answer that also if you have not subscribed so please subscribe Thank you. Bye.